Vishnu, the prokaryotic cause of all worlds, was unborn. From his navel sprang a lotus. Brahma was born there. Brahma created nine other mind-begotten sons, resembling himself. Bhrigu, Pulasta, Pulaha, Kratu, Angira, Marichi, Daksha, Atri and Vashishta. Then Brahma created his identical self, Swayambhuva, and made him the first Manu for the protection of created beings. Together with Swayambhuva Manu was born a lady named Shatrupa who purged herself of all sins through asceticism. The divine Swayambhuva Manu took her as his wife. From these two were born two sons, Priyabrata, Uttanapada, and two daughters named Prasuti and Akruti. Prasuti and Daksha married each other. From Prasuti, Daksha begot 24 daughters, Sraddha, Lakshmi, Dhriti, Tushti, Medha, Pushti, Kriya, Buddhi, Lajja, Vapu, Shanti, Siddhi, Kirti. These 13 daughters of Daksha were married to Dharma. The other 11 bright-eyed and younger daughters of Daksha were Khyati, Sati, Sambhuti, Smriti, Priti, Shama, Sannati, Anasuva, Urja, Swaha and Swadha. These maidens were respectively wedded to Bhrigu, Bhava, Marichi, Angira, Pulasta, Pulaha, Pratu, Atri, Vashishta, Agni and the Pitra. Here we get to know that one of the Brahma's mind-born sons, Atri, married Daksha's daughter, Anasuva. Chandra was their son. Chandra celebrated a Raj Suya sacrifice and on account of the glory, he became proud and arrogant. He carried off Tara, wife of Brihaspati, the preceptor of gods. Tara and Chandra had a son. They named him Bodh. One day, Bodh was in his hermitage. Ila was walking near it. Buddha became attached to her and begot her a son named Pururava. The descendants of Pururava are known as Chandravanshi. On the other hand, Ila's brother, Ikshvaku's descendants are known as Suryavanshi because Ikshvaku's grandfather was Surya. Let's see their family chain. Sage Marichi was Brahma's one of the mind-born sons. Rishi Kashyap was Marichi's son. From the right thumb of Brahma, Daksha was born. Aditi was Daksha's daughter. Kashyap married Aditi. Vivaswan or Surya was their child. Vaivasata, Surya's child, was the seventh Manu. Vaivasata Manu had ten sons. They were Ikshvaku, Driga, Drishta, Saryati, Narishanta, Rangshu, Nabhaga, Dishta, Karusha, and Prishadra. We already told Ikshvaku's descendants are known as Suryavanshi. After ten sons, Vaivasata Manu celebrated a sacrifice in honor of Mitra and Varuna. But the ceremony was unsuccessful on account of some irregularity from the presiding priest. Due to this, instead of a son, a daughter was born, named Ila. Now this Ila married Buddha and their descendants are known as Chandravanshi. Let's see the summary at a glance.
थैंक यू फॉर वॉचिंग प्लीज लाइक एंड शेयर दिस वीडियो